Hey guys, it's Riot. Uh, just doing a quick walk around here to uh, give you an idea of how bad the car is right now. Uh, this thing is a work of art as far as zip ties go. I got zip ties down here. Holding that up so it doesn't get any more ruined than it does. My uh, rally lights are out in place with zip ties. My uh, smiley face plate has zip ties across it to hold the euro plate in place whenever I go out driving. And the uh, Ford one that I just got like last weekend a couple weekends ago is zip tied in place so a lot of tape on it but uh this car is going to the junkyard it's gonna have a few parts stripped off it for my dad's use and then hopefully we'll get enough to uh get me another car because this thing is uh it's just not worth fixing it anymore we've dumped 1200 into it we paid 15 for it actually we've dumped 1800 into it now so we've dumped way more into it than we bought the car for originally so, I mean, it's just, we're probably going to keep the wheels, I'm going to keep the spoiler and the plates off it. I already have the builder's plate, the uh, assembly line plate off it, so that's not an issue. But, I mean, we got all these parts for it, only to find, uh, actually, before I open the hood, we got all these parts off of it, only to find out that this lateral link is snapped. Completely, it's snapped. It won't. So if I back the car up, it won't. Uh, you know, well, if I back the car up, the wheel goes forward and it puts more stress on the front lateral link. So I can only drive it forward at the moment, and it's not a transmission issue. <laughs> so that's the suspension. Uh, I was popping up the right rear so the car doesn't get towed because if you have a flat tire, they assume the car is abandoned here, and they'll uh, tow the car. So I'm trying to get keep it as pumped up as possible, that's why I came down. But uh, it's going to be, uh, you know, we're going to send it off to a junkyard probably, maybe get four or five hundred bucks. I've been offered five hundred by, by one of the guys that goes that uh, shows up at the car meets, and he said he was just going to part it out. So uh, My dad's like, oh yeah, I want to keep the engine and uh, trans out of it. And I was thinking about that, but that's where most of the value is. So. <laughs> It has a new clutch in it, so I can see why you'd want to do that, but, uh, we're probably going to sell this. Is that steam coming out of my radiator? What the fuck is this? Shit. I think my car is over. <laughs> now, there's something going on under here. Probably a fire, knowing my luck. Okay, there's probably some, there's something smoking here. I have no clue what it is. Ah, uh, it smells like boiling water, so it's my radiator. There is something, there's water leaking out of my radiator, it seems. Well, that, that solves that issue. We've been wondering why it's been leaking. Because occasionally I find a puddle of water on the ground. So, yeah, it just went away. So. This car has so many quirks and shit wrong. So, so many quirks and so much wrong with it that at this point it's not even worth uh, keeping. So, uh, you know. If you know anyone who needs parts, tell me, and I'll see what I can do about it. I have a, I have a bunch of these spare vacuum lines. I have two spare ones of those. The uh, front grill is held in place with with tape, but uh, it's actually in good condition. It's an aftermarket one, and that's really all you need to know. It's like that there's a few things here and there that are wrong with it, but uh, it it runs and drives. It'd be great if you have like a big property and have like a mile driveway. Just drive it back and drive it down to the mailbox and around the property, it's great for that. But uh, as far as the actual condition goes, you can tell it's just, it's done. It's had enough. But uh, that's really just all that's up with it. Is the, uh, turn, turn MMR down just a bit. But, uh, you know, it, it's had enough. It, the car is... You know, it's a 20-year-old car. It shouldn't be. It should last this long, but it doesn't. That's the uh, 
I had the motor taken out. There's the motor there. And I was trying to hammer it out, but this whole thing's in the way. And it, it just needs that replaced at this point. So, down the road. Little race car thing going on back here. I stripped out the entire back to work on it easier. But, uh, yeah, that's the uh, Escort. You know, it doesn't run good anymore. It runs fine. It's just not road legal because of the damage and the uh, suspension. So, I mean, I'm going to part it out or sell it. I mean, I'll, uh, we'll ha I'll have to confirm both with my dad because the car is actually owned by him. The insurance, he, I'm primary beneficiary on the insurance, but I actually don't own the car. So, it's really up to him. We're probably going to part it out or sell it to a junkyard for, you know, four or five hundred or find someone who can, you know, drive, who can, uh, who wants it as like a pro mechanic special or something. I got a few friends who want it, who've wanted it in the past. They probably won't take it now, but, uh, you go, there you go. If, uh, if any of you uh, want to buy it, I'll just uh, leave, just message me here on, here on YouTube, and uh, I'll leave a link to a few other things I usually check my messages on, namely, uh, you know, World of Tanks and Dead Frontier, since that's what I usually end up doing. I don't check my email that often, actually. Probably should do that. But, uh, you know, if you're interested in anything off it, tell me, and I'll see what I can do. Uh, I can tell you for a fact, though, right now, that I'm keeping the uh, rear wing and the wheels off it but, and maybe the uh, right right foot fender we might keep as well but uh, you know if you want to we have the parts to fix most of the car we have the parts to fix the body work so if you want to you know if you want to buy for 500 bucks and do the body work yourself we have a spare right door so that shouldn't have you know it won't give you too many issues now we have a spare door I'll uh, sell a few pictures of that right uh, you know fill in the blank right here And, uh, you know, that's probably really all you need to know is that uh, suspension, it has a broken link and uh, needs body work. But we have the door. We have a replacement left front fender even. It's not a complete left front fender, but a fender. The, uh, it's not missing. It's missing from here. It's missing from here down on the fender. It's missing because the bolts were rusted on the car we got it off of. But, you know, if you want, if you want a project car, message me and I'll talk to my dad about it. Right now I'm eyeballing a $600 Tempo diesel and a uh, 93 Volkswagen Fox, Fox Wolfsburg. So both of both of which are 600 bucks or under. I think the uh, Tempo 600 or Wolfsburg is 400 on Craigslist. So just the Wolfsburg is a little bit uh, further away than Virginia, I think. So, but uh, you know, I need a car. I have I have been in contact with people that uh, are hiring you know, McDonald's and stuff, and a few other places, and I just don't have transportation anymore to get to them, so, you know, throw me a message if you're interested in the whole car, you know, if you want it as a mechanic special, I have the interior panels still, I have the seats still, we might keep those, I don't know, it depends on what my dad wants to do, but we'll for sure at least, you'll for, for sure have a driver's seat at least, and a uh, passenger seat, you know, it's a uh, pretty good condition, I mean, like, th it's, the ru there's rust spots, sure, on the underside. I can't really show them to you because it's not on a lift. But, uh, you know, if you're interested in a uh, little project car or something, you know, uh, I'm pro I'll probably end up selling it for like 400 bucks, maybe five. That way, uh, you know, my dad doesn't get pissed with me about, oh, I have to pay for all your cars and shit, so. But, uh, you know, if you're interested, just throw me a message. Uh, wheels I'm keeping, like I said, wheels and spoiler I'm keeping, and the rally lights and the li and the uh, license plates. But besides that, you know, uh, and possibly the engine and tranny. I'll have to talk to my dad about that. But as I've said before, you know, if you want a project car, there it is. We have a door for it. We just need suspension, a suspension link, and it'll be a complete project car for you. So, but uh, that's the update on my Escort. You know, it's uh pretty rough condition right now, but, uh, you know, it's, it'll, it'll, if we uh, don't get rid of it, it's probably because uh, we've been fixing it, so if you uh, need an escort or something, you know, tell me and I'll talk to my dad, otherwise we're just going to part it out or just sell it to a junkyard as is, we don't know yet, but a uh, little run through of it, since uh, you're probably wondering, okay, is there anything else wrong with it? Uh, front brake discs are a little bit warped. 
but uh, we got the car back in July of last year, and we p replaced the rear brake drums, but they're starting to fade just, or not the drums, the uh, pads for the drums inside them. We replaced that on both sides. The sway bar links are almost brand new as well. They're, they were replaced after we got the car. The newest thing on the car is the clutch. The clutch we got fixed back in November for 1200 bucks because they had to drill out all the uh, bolts and rethread them before they could put the clutch back together. Is that rusty? But, uh, you know, there's things here and there. There's a few things here on the fender. Yeah, like that, that one goes through. This car has been resprayed once before. Me and my dad were able to notice it because on the left rear corner of the body, there's a uh, little spot where you can see the primer through the uh, clear coat. So, if they even put a clear coat on it. But, I mean, there's rust. It's a typical northeast rust. You know, there's rust on the bottom of the car. It's not as bad as it seems. But I mean, really, it's, it's just the uh, right side by the B pillar and right here is the only damage to the car. So, yeah, great, like I said. But uh, the clutch is new, so it, it runs nice. The synchros in first are going. That's the only other major issue we have right now, or I have anyway. But sometimes I'll be out of light and I have to double, I have to double tap the clutch a little bit. To, I have to, uh, if it won't go into first, I have to put it back in neutral and hit the clutch again, and then it'll slide into first. So the synchros are going, but uh, there it is. So in case anyone was wondering what happened to the Escort, it's kind of semi in mothballs right now. So, But yeah, uh, if you're interested in it or any parts off it, I'll talk to my dad and we'll see, I'll get his opinion on it. And but until next time, you know, I'll leave you guys with a little bit of an engine rev, why not, since it started up. But uh, there you go. Yeah. And with that, uh, you know, have a great day, and I'll probably hear from a couple of you at least. I know how that goes. So uh, until next time, have a great day.